A brief history of Antarctica adequately provides a contextual background by which a clearer perspective on our current dilemma can be understood. Recent studies reveal that Antarctica, India, and Africa once comprised the supercontinent Gondwana until they broke apart roughly 80 million years ago. Antarctica was teeming with both animal and plant life and the landscape was largely flat and demarcated by a slow-moving river. Through analyzing the sediments both offshore and along the coast, in 2013 it was determined that around 34 to 24 million years ago the glaciers began carving out the steep mountain ranges and valleys that lay under today's ice cap. However, the crustal displacement theory contends that humans could have still been living in parts of an ice-free Antarctica as recently as 12,000 years ago. A number of Antarctica maps derived from ancient cultures showed the continent was not always covered under ice. A Turkish admiral named Piri Reis credited with creating an early map in 1513 depicts Antarctica to be ice-free long before its western discovery by two Russian explorers in 1820. The race map was found at Istanbul's top copy palace in 1929. Additionally two decades after race in 1534 Oran's Fine composed a map also displaying a remarkably accurate, deglaciered landmass. Yet another cartography contribution was Oran Theosphenius map in 1531 that even showed Antarctica's mountains and rivers. All these maps featuring a pre-glacial Antarctica closely approximate the modern map of the continent minus its current layer of ice, strongly pointing to evidence that humans once inhabited this region in a hospitable climate. It's believed that these early 16th century maps may have been partially compiled from ancient sources dating back to the Egyptian and Sumerian civilizations. Further supporting this belief of ancient civilizations inhabiting the continent, scientists have recently discovered two large pyramids located just 10 miles inland and a third near the coastline. NASA's Operation Ice Bridge has experts believing an ancient civilization once existed under the 2.3 kilometers of ice. The team of American and European researchers feel this could be their smoking gun, proving that Antarctica was not a frozen tundra but was once teeming with plentiful plant and animal life that included human beings. Of course wherever pyramids are discovered, speculation always abounds connecting them with extraterrestrial contact. Additionally, recent scientists believe the lost city of Atlantis could lie under the continental ice shelf. If these latest revelations turn out to be true, it would forever change our perception of history. Egyptologists and scholars have long believed that the Egyptian Sphynx is far older than 10,000 years old, even up to 800,000 years old. Water erosion on the world's largest statue indicates that the climate in Egypt likely changed drastically from a rainforest to a desert in a relative short period of a few thousand years. This view is consistent with conclusions held by scientists studying climate change in Antarctica as well, further reinforced by the maps of the early 1500s that remarkably match today's radar images of present-day subglacial Antarctica. Moreover, in recent years enormous pyramid structures have also been discovered in Mexico, Central and South America, China, Kazakhstan, Bosnia among other places. Building these mysterious mammoth structures has only reinforced a common assertion that ancient cultures around the world may well have been assisted by advanced alien technologies. Mounting scientific evidence shows that advanced civilizations from other solar systems both in and out of our galaxy have migrated and interbred with human populations on our Earth at least 1.6 million years ago. Thus, these more recent findings thoroughly demolish everything we've been taught debunking both the fake science timelines of man's origin only 10,000 years ago as well as Darwin's notion that Homo sapiens naturally evolved from the one-cell amoeba to the ape and finally to us modern humans. Our ancient past has been willfully buried and deceptively concealed primarily by religious and political dogma, 